The postseason awaits for Bowling Green Hockey after finishing the regular season with 25 wins and placing second in the NHC. And for more on the team, we bring in their head coach now, Connor Rogowski. Coach, thanks so much for joining me, and what a fantastic weekend it's been for the Bobcats. It's, it's been a great weekend. You know, we, we kind of had a, a slow um, last weekend, didn't really do exactly what we wanted to, but we, we came back, you know, guns of blazing this weekend, playing the kind of game that we know we can play, and we've had a very successful end of the season. Your first win over St. Francis since 2016 got to be big. But, of course, another special moment from this season was that 17-game unbeaten streak. Just what was clicking so well during that stretch? Yeah, I think just the players just buying into everything that we were trying to do, you know, just the systems that we were trying to run. We knew that if we were going to do the little things right and really compete in our league and in our state, we were going to have to do those things. And, and we started to do that. And the 17-game win streak was just a lot of putting a lot of things together. You know, the three phases of the game, offense, defense, and goaltending – we had a lot of games where not all three of them were on, and we'd have the other phase picking each other up when those weren't. If offense and defense were on, our goaltenders, you know, picked us up. When maybe goaltending and defense was kind of a little bit shaky, our offense picked us up and scored more goals. So it was, it was just a lot of everybody working together, one goal, you know, playing our systems and just kind of just being that team that gels and does things the right way. And I think that's been, you know, kind of the – a big thing from our team this season is just how well they've gelled. Our team chemistry, the, the togetherness that we have. You talk about the team chemistry. Another unique aspect is that you guys have three sets of brothers and a set of cousins. Just how does that kind of add to the fun, but also that chemistry you're seeing on the ice? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely brings a lot of fun, especially to practice, because, you know, you get those, you get the brothers that are battling, right? Like, everybody wants to be the best brother, you know? Um, so it's kind of funny, um, just the way that they interact with each other. And, you know, they're so competitive with each other, and they grew up having that competitive spirit and really working. So them being at practice, is like the same thing as them being six, seven years old, you know, messing around in the house. But it also brings that connectivity and that, that the love that we have as a group, it, it takes it to another level, right? Because they also care about each other. They want to help each other grow. And so it's been, it's been a really fun and cool thing to see all the brothers and to see the different ways that they react with each other, you know, on and off the ice. It's been a cool thing. Now with the regular season wrapped up, how do you feel like the Bobcats just as a whole have defied expectations for where you guys were projected at the beginning <clears throat> to where you are now? We didn't talk about it much, but we, we were a team that was projected to be fifth in our league and, and, and not really be that great this year. And I think that we really like being the underdog. We really take that, and, and we, we ran with it because we knew the kind of team that we could be internally from a coaching staff. We knew that if we bought in and if we did the little things and kind of just set that style of play, we were going to be successful in, in our league and in the state, and, and we, we started to do that. We're going to let the games show themselves. We're going to let our team and how we work together prove the kind of team that we are and just a great way to end the regular season with two big wins this weekend, just kind of really exemplifying and, and coming in at second place in our league, which is something that not a lot of people thought that we had a chance to do. And now looking ahead to the postseason, how do you build on that momentum and really make some noise? Yeah, I mean, just continuing to build like this weekend, going into practice this week, coming in, continue doing what we've been doing um, with a big game against St. John's on Saturday. You know, every game in our league is hard. Every game is a competition. Every game is tough. The playoffs are the same exact thing. You know, you're playing all these league opponents again. Everybody wants the same goal. Everybody has the same goal. Everybody wants to get to the same place. So everybody's going to give you their best game. We're going to play free. We're going to practice free. And we're just going to enjoy the moment that we're in and, you know, have the expectations for ourselves that our season's not going to end and we're going to keep on going. Can't wait to see what the team can do on Saturday and hopefully moving forward beyond that. So thanks so much for joining Absolutely. me today. Absolutely. Thank you very much.